I am the vicious supporting male character in a brainless romance novel, ignoring the infatuated rich and beautiful woman, and stubbornly pestering the idiotic scheming girl, and finally tortured to death by the male Lee. In my second life, I woke up, the female lead lay in my arms, ready to cry, I know you are good to me, but I will never like you. I kicked her away, then get away from me. The male lead warned menacingly, take this one billion and stay away from Willow, or I will kill you. I gratefully accepted with tears in my eyes, thank you, boss, I'll leave right away. Can you stop pestering me, that always pitiful face, now full of impatience, George. Although we grew up together and you took care of me a lot, I only see you as a brother, please stop pestering me. I already have someone I like, my mind went blank for a moment, and then I suddenly realized that I didn't die. Am I back to my senior year of university? I, George, young and promising, well-off family, handsome looks, ignoring the infatuated rich and beautiful woman who has been pursuing me for many years, but always liked Willow, the childhood sweetheart who grew up with me. My relationship with Willow was originally very good, Almost everyone thought we could be together, but when I went to college, Makoto appeared. It was almost destined. He and Willow fell in love, and since then, Willow can no longer see me in her eyes. I was not reconciled and did not want to believe that the companionship of more than ten years could not compare to the fate arranged by heaven, sadly. All my efforts were a joke. Willow enjoyed all my goodness, accepted all my efforts, but only willing to give me the name of a brother and gave her heart to Makoto. I was like a simp, giving everything, even breaking a leg to save Willow. But in the end, I got nothing. So, I turned dark, trying to keep Willow by my side at all costs. The final result, of course, was painful. I was defeated and crushed by Makoto. Before I die, I woke up and realized that I was a character in a book. And Makoto and Willow were the male and female leads, and I was just a supporting male villain. So, no matter how hard I try, I am just a stepping stone for the male and female leads. I lived as a joke, but I had the chance to start over. And nothing had happened yet. Willow didn't get my reply for a long time. And wanted to say something else, but I directly threw her hand away. I get it. You can go. I won't bother you anymore. And don't call me if you have anything. I was really crazy before. Being driven by the plot to become a big victim. Now I'm awake. Reject to be a simp, refuse to be a part of the play between the male and female leads. Reject the fate of being crushed, the female lead, get away from me. Willow was stunned after I pushed her away. I turned around and walked away, but she suddenly pounced on me. She seemed to realize that she had gone too far, and carefully came over to hug me. Brother George, are you angry? I still see you as a brother, I just don't want you to waste your feelings, can we be as good as before? You know. We grew up together. Besides Makoto, you are the most important. I rolled my eyes, since she didn't like me. Why keep stringing me along? I was about to push her away, but that creepy voice appeared. George, you're pestering Willow again. Let her go. Makoto came over with big strides, swinging his fist as he came out. I raised my hand to catch it, but still staggered a bit. Please, are you blind? It's clearly her hugging me. How could Willow possibly hug you? Did you threaten her? Makoto pulled Willow to his side without asking, and became even angrier when he sought her tears. Why are you crying? Willow, what did he do to you? I didn't do anything. Today she came to me voluntarily and asked me to accompany her to study. At that time, I was also a big victim, always responsive to Willow, accompanied her for a day. But when I sent her back, she suddenly started crying. It was because she had a fight with Makoto, and before I was reborn. I was hot-headed and confessed my deep feelings to her. As a result, Willow immediately changed her face and said that I was harassing her, pestering her. Now, she is even more tearful, as if I really bullied her. If it were the old me, I would definitely defend Willow and take this dumb loss, but now, I won't. Makoto warned me menacingly, enough, stop beating around the bush, finding so many excuses, isn't it just to keep pestering Willow? Now, immediately. Take this one billion and stay away from Willow, or I will kill you. I gratefully accepted with tears in my eyes. Thank you, boss. I'll leave right away. Unexpectedly, the next second he immediately took the check back, you lowly person. You are not worthy to take my money. He even made a contemptuous gesture towards me. Even if I'm a lowly person, you can't just show off and then run away. 10. 
He provoked me like this. I'll fight with him. The two of us fought until we were bruised and swollen. And Willa was scared. Please stop fighting. The scene was chaotic for a while, but at least I kicked Makoto a few times and didn't suffer. In the end, I was pulled apart by a group of classmates, taking advantage of the crowd. I directly took out my phone, flipped through the chat records between me and Willow, and threw them in Makoto's face. You look at it clearly, it's not me who actively pestered her. She sent me the messages herself. Makoto's face turned pale for a moment, and Willow looked at me innocently and shockingly. Brother George, how could you do this? Her tears fell again. I see you as a brother, so I trust you so much. Why do you want to mislead Makoto with this? Makoto's puzzled expression instantly became gloomy. George, you despicable man. Willow always said you were her brother who took care of her since childhood and asked me not to hurt you. Unexpectedly, you are so dark in your heart. Don't think I don't know what you are thinking about, Willow. Well, this one sings and the other follows, so it's all my fault. I was about to start a fight. A sneer came from the crowd. Ha. Huh. Those with dark hearts see everyone as dark. Aina's appearance was like bringing light. Always she can wanton. A red dress outlined her tall and attractive figure. And her delicate features or a bold beauty. I was indeed blind before. Chasing Willow with all my heart. And ignoring such an excellent Anna. Anna. What's your business? Makoto looked a bit displeased. What? The young master Yi is also controlling me. Anna crossed her arms and glanced at Willow. I came to correct the injustice. Do you have any opinion? You have to hold it back. Makoto is used to commanding others because of some power in his family, but Anna is not afraid. Aina's family and Yi's family are equal. Makoto's methods are not effective on her. Makoto, stop arguing. Let's go. Willow tugged at Makoto's clothes and wiped her tears. Go. The matter hasn't been clarified yet. So you guys wrong George. You say all the bad words. No want to run away. Anna grabbed Willow. Are you feeling guilty? What are you talking about? Willow frowned. You're hurting me. Come off it. I'm not a man. Playing the victim doesn't work with me. Anna. What are you going to do? Don't bully Willow. Willow's act worked well on Makoto. And he hugged Willow with concern. I want to prove George's innocence. Anna threw out a video. Look carefully who is pestering who. I didn't expect that when Willow was talking to me, Anna was nearby. She clearly recorded it. And when I was about to leave, it was Willow who hugged me. Now, Willow couldn't say a word. Her eyes red. And Makoto's face was even uglier. Willow, I also find you quite strange, since you're with Makoto. Why do you ask George to accompany you when you study? Why do you send messages to George when you get lost? And why do you ask George for help when you feel uncomfortable? Anna sneered. Who is the one with bad intentions? I grew up with brother George. I'm just used to it. How could you think of me like that? Willow's tears fell. But this time no one comforted her. George, what about you? Are you seeing more clearly now? Are you still stubborn? Anna turned her head to look at me. I immediately made a statement. Hey, I was blind to like her before. But I won't bother with her in the future. Makoto, please control your girlfriend. Don't let her send me messages at every turn. Whoever can't do it is a dog. Well said. Anna finally showed a smile. George, you finally have a clear mind. After getting rid of Willow, I got closer and closer to Anna. In the past, she was always the proactive one, circling around me from time to time, trying to save me from the simp situation with Willow. She stood up for me when I was almost killed by Makoto's plot, pulled me back from the edge of death, and took care of me in every possible way. When I was sad because of Willow, she accompanied me to drive to the beach to watch the sunrise. She once said that as long as she was there, she would protect me. She did it. I broke a leg to save Willow, and she gave her life to save me. Unfortunately, I, who was always caught up in the plot, never saw her good intentions towards me. Fortunately, with a second chance, I'm not blind anymore. So, neither I nor Anna will make unnecessary sacrifices anymore. This time, it's my turn to protect her. Why are you looking at me like that? Anna put down her coffee and raised her hand in confusion. Is there something on my face? No, you're not thinking about Willow again, are you? No, I'm thinking about you. I blurted out. I saw Anna stunned for a moment, her cheeks showing a faint blush. Liar, she grumbled softly. It's true. I was awkward and didn't know how to express myself for a moment. Thank you very much today. Actually, not just today. I really. 
Seeing me blushing and speechless, she suddenly laughed. All right, I get it. Let's eat. The weather is quite good today. She nodded. Ah, yes. I clenched my fist and plucked up the courage to say, What I mean is, can I invite you to watch the sunrise at the beach? The beach in the early morning is still cool, with gusts of wind mixed with a salty smell. The surroundings are still pitch black, without a trace of light. Anna kept staring at the colorless beach in the distance, and I quietly watched her. The atmosphere became ambiguous since I uttered that invitation. Anna, who is always proactive and likes to be straightforward, has become quiet and shy. She was nervous, I could clearly feel her emotions, which made me suddenly feel awkward. When the wind blew, she unconsciously shrank her shoulders, and I took off my coat and put it on her. When I wanted to withdraw my hand, she suddenly grabbed me. I met her gaze, and for a moment, I didn't react when Nina's gaze fell on me. It was always eager. This time, I didn't avoid it. Hey, George, why did you ask me out? Before I had time to organize my language, she continued to ask, You don't like Willow anymore, do you? Yes, do you like me then? Hot and positive, never avoiding, who can refuse such love? I gave her a decisive and sincere answer. Yes, I like you. Anna, don't rush to give me an answer. I know that compared to you, I am indeed still too far behind. I was blind and ignorant before. But I will definitely make a career in the future. I have to be worthy of your liking. I gathered all my courage and dared not look at her directly. So, could you please give me a little more time? After saying all the words, the surroundings were so quiet that I could almost hear my own heartbeat. I looked up nervously and met Aina's eyes. Her eyes seemed a bit red, as if she was about to cry. No, she said. And my heart sank dot dot however. The next second, the corners of her mouth lifted up with a smile. It's been a year since I started chasing you, and I don't want to wait any longer. Let's be together now. Hot. I didn't expect her to say that at all, but she directly grabbed my collar and leaned in. At this moment, we were so close that we could hear each other's breath, her nose rubbing against mine. I held my breath, not knowing how to react for a moment. George, I ask you, do you want to be my boyfriend? Right now, answer me immediately. Yes. No need to hesitate. I can give her an answer immediately. Anna showed a satisfied smile, and her lips moved closer. My brain was blank. I just felt that at that moment, my heart was filled. I couldn't hear anything around me, only the thumping heartbeat that belonged to the two of us. The plan to be with Anna was brought forward, and the goal I strive for must also be put on the agenda. My setting is an extreme love brain, but as a supporting male character, I also have many extraordinary abilities. Only in this way can I compete with the male lead, and the conflict in the plot will be interesting. In my previous life, when I was a senior in college, I used my talent in game design to obtain a patent. At that time, New Game, the biggest competitor of Makoto's company, extended an opportunity. I could have seized this opportunity to rise, but at that time, because of a word from Willow, I foolishly gave up the competition and gave this piece of cake to Makoto for free, thus missing the opportunity. But now that I have a second chance, I would never make the same mistake again. I found a few like-minded buddies, and just like in my previous life, we successfully created the prototype of this game. With the memory of rebirth, the mode of this game is even more perfect this time. I registered a company and took my team to the exhibition. This exhibition was full of big names, and everyone's attention was focused on a few big companies, led by Makoto's family and new game. No one paid attention to our new company formed by a team of college students, but when it was time for our game display, almost everyone's gaze at us changed. Before it was over, several companies had already extended an opportunity. At the end, the people from New Game even directly invited us to dinner. I knew that once this game was launched, it would bring huge profits, and these savvy bosses naturally saw it. However, businessmen are still businessmen. Seeing that we are still college students, they naturally want to fool us, buy out this game, and sign us on the way letting us work for them. The price offered by the other party is considered good for ordinary students. While others were still hesitating, I firmly said, we don't accept buyouts, either share profits or invest. In the end, of course, we didn't reach an agreement, but I wasn't in a hurry. After all, Makoto hadn't made a move yet. Things went pretty smoothly today. Are you planning to cooperate with New Game? During this period, Anna saw that I was busy and she was always considerate of me. It was not easy to finally have some free time, 
and I wanted to spend more time with her. Don't worry, new game will change its mind. I served Anna a bowl of soup. Wait until things are settled. I will accompany you to see the Aurora. We are graduating in a few months, Anna said. She wanted to go on a graduation trip to see the Aurora. This wish, of course, I want to fulfill with her. Really? You've been working too hard lately, George. Actually, if you need my help, you can tell me. You must not feel any burden. I understand. I gently held Anna's hand. But please also believe that I have the ability. I will rely on myself to become a person who is qualified to stand by your side. Before Makoto arrived, Willow came first. During this period, although she didn't take the initiative to find me, I could clearly feel her probing. She deliberately posted on her moments of the WeChat that she was not feeling well, if it were before. As soon as I saw it, I would rush to see her immediately, but I didn't react at all. She was probably not reconciled, and deliberately reminded me through other friends. But I just responded coldly. She probably understood that this trick wouldn't work anymore. Later, she started hanging around me every now and then, even pretending to fall, looking at me with pitiful eyes. And I just coldly walked past her pretending not to see this person. I didn't expect that Willow would take the initiative to come to me. George, can you not sign a contract with New Game? Makoto told me that he is very interested in your game. Can you talk to Makoto? I really didn't expect that she could be so shameless. Our relationship has already become so stiff, and she can still brazenly make such unreasonable demands. Impossible. Why should I listen to you? Who are you? I glanced at her and said speechlessly, George, are you still mad at me? She looked at me with red eyes. Is there anything? I didn't want to talk to her more, but she didn't have any discernment. George, we grew up together since we were kids. You said you would always take care of me and protect me. You wouldn't really ignore me because of a misunderstanding, would you? I did promise, but then I also promised not to bother you anymore. What? You forgot what you said so quickly. Willow's words choked. Her face turned red, and tears fell directly. George, I didn't mean that at the time. Don't cry. If you want to cry, go outside and cry. I'm very busy now. My patience was exhausted. Willa walked out while crying. George, they say you're with Anna now. Yes. So what? You ignore me and forget what you promised me because of her. Willow, are you mistaken? Anna is my girlfriend. I want to be good to her. And I should be good to her. What are you? Why do you think the whole world should revolve around you? Willow was stunned by what I said, and couldn't speak. You really want to have one's cake and eat it too, don't you? You come to me when you need something, and then you say I'm bothering you when you don't. Do you think I'm a complete idiot? We made it clear last time. Don't bother me. My girlfriend doesn't like it. Don't force me to say harsh words. I've wanted to say these words for a long time, and now that I've said them all at once, looking at Willow's face as dark as the bottom of a pot, I feel so good. Willow ran away crying. I think she should not bother me anymore. People came to talk to me about cooperation one after another, and the conditions they offered became more and more generous. Makoto was one of them. He always had a kind of annoying sense of superiority. It seemed that because he was born well, he could look down on ordinary people at will. Don't cooperate with new game. Sell to me. I can give you an extra 200,000. I sneer and reply. Not for sale. George. Don't be ungrateful. I've already offered the highest price in the market. I respect you. Don't be shameless. Sorry. You're showing respect, but I decline it. I don't need your respect. You see where it works. You go there. Take care. You. Makoto slammed the table and stood up. You will regret it. George. After Makoto came once, New Game finally couldn't stand it. Met with us again. Talked about cooperation. And made concessions. I successfully got a share of the profits and obtained a stake in New Game. As the biggest competitor of Yi's family, New Game's strength is evident. This is my first shot at declaring war on Makoto, he wants to make me regret it. But I am prepared. On the day the game was released, Makoto also opened the server synchronously, and the concept was almost exactly the same, which immediately caused a huge stir. Everyone was discussing who copied who, but I was calm. That's too despicable. Aren't they playing tricks? The teammates were all angry, and the project manager of New Game also looked very upset. George, we originally signed an exclusive contract. If the other party's game is dissimilar to the core points you provided, I think I need to reconsider our cooperation. 
The manager of New Game looked at me seriously and reminded, the teammates were grievance and angry. Although this kind of thing can be said to be shameless, in the face of interests, the respect in the eyes of some people is indeed not worth mentioning. I don't know if the Yi family did it on purpose, but the timing they chose was exactly the same as New Game. Just imitating. Whether it's the real deal or a fake, it becomes clear when the truth comes out. In just a few hours, the server traffic and the evaluation of this game showed a polarized trend. Of course, Makoto's game was the one that was criticized. To be honest, although the idea is very similar, but the experience and mode are too different. New game wins by a long shot. Please, what is E-game doing? They have the nerve to bring out such a bad product. It's too bad. Did they want to plagiarize new game and rush it out in time? For a while, dissatisfaction with Yi game was on the rise. Yi game immediately issued a statement saying that it would improve as soon as possible, but players did not accept it, and the discussion about who plagiarized who between new game and Yi game was very intense. Very well, Yi game did this just to attract attention, right? Since he wants to make it known to all, let's make it more lively. That afternoon, new game held a press conference and I attended as the creative representative, detailing the process of our work coming into the world. From the initial sketches, to the prototype, to the finished product, each step has a timeline. We have enough evidence to prove that we are the original. As for who is the plagiarist, it is clear at a glance. Although Makoto still wanted to remedy, repeatedly emphasizing that it was just a clash of ideas and there was no plagiarism, netizens did not accept it, then I might as well give them a big gift. Just as Makoto had just issued a statement, his game had a big problem. All users who downloaded the game, as long as they run for more than 30 minutes, their mobile phones and computers will crash. For a time, this game and Yi game both became the target of public criticism, and they were scolded miserably. Users were all chasing Yi game for an explanation. This is the biggest bug in the initial version of the game and Makoto was in a hurry and wanted to rush to release the game on this day, so he didn't even discover such a fatal problem. This time, E-Game is in big trouble, not only losing its reputation, but also facing huge trouble. Makoto was furious and kept calling me. Did you do it on purpose, George? You're too vicious. You set me up like this. I sneered and asked him. I set you up. Did I force you to plagiarize my game? Did I force you to rush to open the server on the same day as new game? Or, did I force you to buy off my classmates and sell our ideas to you? There was a brief silence on the other end of the phone, and Nakoto exploded. You know everything. When did you know? Yeah. If I didn't know everything, how could I put on such a real play with the help of a mole? Pushing open the office door, my teammate was on the phone, listening to Makoto's abuse. He probably hasn't reacted yet, I'm already standing in front of him with New Game's lawyer. Sorry, brother. According to your contract with the company, you may not even be able to keep your underwear. Prepare to face a sky-high compensation. He turned pale and fell to the ground. I, George, I was really confused for a while. He gave too much, and I only gave the initial version. He was still claiming that he was wronged, but no one gave him the chance to defend himself, and he was taken away. The reputation of the Yi family's company was greatly affected, and the stock was unstable, the game was shut down, and many consumers' losses had to be compensated. Makoto was scolded by his father. The Yi family felt that Makoto changed after meeting Willow, so they let them break up and wanted to introduce Makoto to a noble lady of the same social status. This matter reached Willow's ears, so the two had a big fight. When my classmates told me these things as a joke, my heart was extremely calm. Who would care about Willow and Makoto if they weren't called the male and female protagonists? But I still underestimated the so-called protagonist Halo. Makoto returned to the company Loki, and, under his father's arrangement, he actually married the daughter of another big company. The joint pressure of the two companies did have some impact on New Game. You know, among businessmen, there are no eternal enemies and friends, only eternal interests. When the other party proposed to drive me out of the company, New Game's choice is obvious. They offered a generous compensation plan because I held a share of the profitable and a small portion of the shares. So it was not easy to drive me away. Top. Moreover, in the past six months, I have been diligent in New Game. My abilities have been greatly recognized and I am in a rising period. So they also expressed regret. I know the principle of parting on good terms, but the more chips I hold in my hand, 
to more confident I am to ask for more. In the end, this matter ended with me leaving the company with a large sum of money. Anna was very indignant about my experience and even wanted to use her family's connections to get justice from me, but I stopped her. I had planned to leave the company and start my own business. I have been preparing for my own business after studying here for half a year. It's not a bad thing to take more money with this opportunity, but the Yi family is too much. You are my boyfriend. How can they bully you like this? Okay. Baby, I know you feel sorry for me. Don't worry. It won't take long. I will give back to Makoto what he did to me. I don't care about his so-called protagonist Halo. Since I have awakened and can change my own destiny, then this the lifetime's grudge must be settled. After I resigned, many companies extended opportunities to me, but I refused all of them and officially founded my own company. The initial stage is always the busiest, but fortunately, I have accumulated some connections when I was in new game. And with the fame brought by the first work, even with Makoto's squeeze, I still slowly developed my own business. However, Willow's days were not so good. Because Makoto chose to marry, Willow had to break up with him. I remember, according to the original plot, Willow was already pregnant at that time. But after discovering Makoto's marriage, she was heartbroken and ran away with the baby. At this time, I, the unlucky supporting male character, naturally came in handy. I took care of her and took care of her child. Out of spite, Willow deliberately told Makoto that the child was mine which made Makoto hate me and target me. I suffered a lot from this. As a result, Makoto and Willow broke up and got back together. And in the end, they were still together. And I became the bad guy. This time, without my meddling. Willow's days probably won't be easy. She just graduated and doesn't have much money. What kind of job can she find while pregnant? These were not in my consideration. However, as if deliberately arranged, I went to talk business with a partner, and I happened to run into Willow. She was already pregnant and was struggling to carry a box of beer. She saw me too, and immediately showed hope in her eyes. But I just moved my gaze away without changing my expression, talking and laughing with the partner. Just as I was about to leave, I suddenly heard the sound of glass shattering and something heavy falling to the ground. No way. I was still complaining in my heart. When I turned my head, I saw Willow had fallen to the ground clutching her stomach, and in pain asking for help. George, brother, save me, my stomach hurts so much. Drink more hot water, I was about to leave. She suddenly pounced and grabbed my trouser leg. The partner looked at me in doubt. George, do you know this lady? In desperation, I sent Willow to the hospital. I didn't expect that as soon as Willow entered the operating room and I was about to leave, I was caught by someone. Seeing that the man's fist was about to fall, I grabbed it directly and gave him a shoulder throw. Makoto was lying on the ground in pain, trying to get up and fight. Are you crazy? Makoto, do you believe I can send you to the police station? You. George, you are despicable and shameless. You already have Anna, and you still do this to Willow. What's going on with her? Is the child in her stomach yours? I laughed directly. You are crazy. What did I do to her? How long have I not seen Willow? Do you know what you're doing? Don't try to shift the blame on me. Did you marry and want to shift the blame on me? Do you have the guts to do a paternity test and let everyone see whose seed is in her stomach? Makoto was scolded by me, and his face was a little ugly. What's going on with her? Why did you send her to the hospital? I'm also speechless. I went to have a meal, and I could run into her working and accidentally falling. She clung to me for help. Could I just stand by and watch her die? You have the nerve to question me. You might as well ask yourself. Why don't you dare to take responsibility? Naturally. Willow's child was fine. When she woke up and saw Makoto, she delusionally wanted me to help her hide it. I directly blocked her with a sentence. The child's father is here. You solve your own problems. Don't involve me. After leaving the hospital, I immediately sent this good news to Makoto's fiancé. Sure enough, it was a good show. Makoto's fiancé directly brought people to smash the hospital, almost killing Willow. Makoto was also injured, and the situation was chaotic for a while. With my instigation, this matter has become a big deal and is known to everyone. Makoto's fiancé was so angry that she broke up with him, and when Makoto wanted to turn back, Willow had disappeared and ran away with the baby. At this time, I had already taken the opportunity to sign a cooperation and launched my new game. A year later, my company continued to expand, 
and Ana's parents finally recognized me. Ana's parents took the initiative to propose that she bring me home to meet them, and our marriage was officially set at that time. Makoto had been kicked out of the power center of the Yi family. His father brought back a capable illegitimate child from outside and prepared to train him to take over. Makoto's mother went crazy and had a big fight with his father. Another year passed, my company was going smoothly and has developed many new projects. Makoto's parents divorced and he and his mother became completely abandoned. When Willow found out that Makoto had been kicked out of his house and was down and out on the streets, her heart was filled with generosity and she came back with the child to redeem Makoto. The male and female leads finally got together, which seems to be a beautiful ending. However, it seems that Willow couldn't save Makoto. Makoto really gave up, drinking and fighting. Willow worked to support Makoto and his mother, and had to clean up the mess for Makoto from time to time. Even so, Makoto still beats or scolds Willow whenever he gets drunk, saying that his downfall today is all Willow's fault. When Nana and I went out shopping, we once saw them by chance. At that time, Makoto was drunk, and Willow, who was dragging him home, seemed to be ten years older, looking vicissitudes and hagger. Makoto leaned against a utility pole on the street, holding a bottle of wine in his hand, and the wine was dripping on the ground. His eyes were hollow, lifeless, as if he had lost interest in everything around him. Willow was quietly pleading with him, her voice revealing endless fatigue and heartache. I don't know which sentence angered him. Makoto suddenly smashed the wine bottle on the ground. No home. What kind of home is that? Glass shards splashed around, spilling all over the ground. Willow screamed, trying to avoid the splashing glass shards, but many of them still scratched her arms and ankles. She squatted down in pain, covering the bleeding wound with her hand. Tears kept coming out, and she looked pale and weak. Makoto didn't care about her at all, but looked at her indifferently. His calm tone was stretched out like a knife. You look disgusting. She grinned, stood up and wiped away her tears, and continued to hold his arm, trying to help him up. The moment she raised her head, she saw me and Anna, and expectedly, Willow just smiled faintly, and then continued to drag Makoto's heavy body, swaying on the way home. They seemed to have lost the protagonist's halo. Life became a mess. But this pair of resentful couples are destined to be tied together forever even if they torture each other. However, that's none of my business anymore. The moonlight gently brushed the sparkling sea sponge, as if laying a silver white carpet, the breeze blew, bringing the cool breath of seawater, and the only sound in the silence of the night was the waves hitting the rocks. This is where we first dated. I stand here holding Ana's hand, and the distant past is scattered on the shore like waves. Once, the future I promised her, I can finally give it to her completely. Will you marry me, Anna? I do. That's the most beautiful vow I've ever heard. 